Hello, everyone. Hello. How are you guys doing out there today? Welcome to the Stephanie Stevens Show live at 5 p.m. I'm Stephanie Stevens and I'll be your host for the next 30, 35, 40 minutes. Um, and today our subject is human rights. Human rights will be our subject today. Um, I want to talk about a particular situation that is trending now on Facebook in the LGBT pronoun community. And um, it seems to be getting a lot of attention. Apparently, there's this trans woman in Inst um, <clears throat> Istanbul that is outing gay men in Morocco and different places around the world. Now, just not gay men, bisexual, straight men that um, engage in um, what we call gay sex. For gay men, this is just considered normal. But today, we're going to be talking about the trans woman in Istanbul that is outing men on dating apps such as Grindr, um, Planet Romeo, and a lot of the other hookup sites. So we, I want everybody to weigh in. So we're going to wait for a few more people to come in. Hi, Perry. Hi, Paul. I know y'all miss me, but I'm working hard to update the Stephanie Stevens show. I'm trying to understand the Zoom. I'm trying to get a... Um, microphone where you guys can actually hear me very well so this week I should have it all worked out and then we will all be able to talk and see each other if you're on zoom okay now like I said today the show is about this trans woman and inst um, instable instable hmm? <laughs> um, instable um, that is outing men on dating apps. Now, apparently, apparently, she has, she is outing these men because just like most trans women around the world, no matter where they are, two things they hate to be called is the N-word and a man. Now, apparently, she's outraged that somebody in Morocco, where she was working, if you know what I mean, called her something derogatory, which we know what it was. They said that she was a man. We know what it was. This is what, And then she got in such a rage because she felt she was more convincing than the other trans women, either in Istanbul or in Morocco, where she was working, if you know what I mean. Now, you can get back to me later on working with Zoom. Okay, Perry, I will. Thank you. Because you know I need to figure all that out because we need to get that going. Um, so now, this trans woman, thank you very much. Um, now, um, she is upset with the LGBT pronoun community because how many, why would she do that in the first place when 90% of the men on there are either gay or just experimenting? 90% of the men on Grindr and Planet um, Romeo are not heterosexual looking for gay sex. Something is wrong with this trans woman. She's mad because maybe a group of gay men called her out. Or a straight man that came to see her while she was working, if you know what I mean, uh, called her a man and said she looked like a man. I know what sparked all this. But number one, she needs to be careful. Number one, she's already in a marginalized country where homosexuality and anything trans and all that is against the rules over there. Now, she's acting like she lives in a liberated country. First and foremost, I would never have put myself to risk going live, no matter how mad you were at somebody because they called you a man. Do you know how many times I have been called a man in this country? It doesn't, listen, 
there's a certain time when you have to understand where the fight is and how much of the fight you can accomplish and be safe within the fight. Two, don't target your own community. She's targeting her own community or people that are going to be a part of her community and support her somewhere down the road. Yes, we're going to have a few knuckleheads that are going to call you a man, a faggot, the N-word. We know this. But second of all, you cannot be on social media and having that sort of a fight about gay men or bisexual men or straight men on hookup apps. That's just not your fight. Your fight should be about trans equality, trans jobs, human rights for trans people. You are on these sites talking about um, you get the gay men having sex with each other during the coronavirus time. What? How does that concern you? Hi, John, David. How are you? Hi, Jason. Now, this is what I don't understand. There's this trans woman. And it's the bull. She's outing men on hookup sites saying that they're, um, um, she's outing them because she's mad because somebody in Morocco where she went to work, if we know what I mean, called her a man. Now, or called her some derogatory thing. But we know in, 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 in trans language and in the gay community, we know when somebody's referring to a, a trans woman, they either call her a tranny or a fag, um, or they call her a, a whore and all these kind of things. We're used to this kind of stuff. Not that it's acceptable. But listen, you cannot be in a marginalized country where you have very little rights for the LGBT pronoun community and trans women. Your fight should be about keeping trans women alive and human rights for the LGBT pronoun community, lady. You need to get it together, Miss Lady. Miss Sophia, let me see what her name is. They say her name is Sophia um, Tauluni. It sounds like she's a loony. Louis. Anyway, Miss Sophia in Instable, let me give you some advice, lady. Your fight is for the trans community, the LGBT pronoun community. That's where your fight is. Don't be running behind gay men or bisexual men on gay hookup apps. Who does that? Trans women don't have that fight. You don't need to be trying to stand up for gay men and men hooking up on gay dating sites. What are you doing, lady? Something is wrong with her. Hi, Carla. How are you? I'm glad to see your surgery went well. Girl, you look good. I'm going to have some stuff done. As soon as all this is over, I'm going to have me a few touch-ups. Mm, nothing to get ready. Yes, Lord. I hope I don't offend you, lovely stuff, Nisa. Are you trans? Hmm. Paul, I don't want to answer that. I hope you respect my feelings when I say that, because then we'll get into the whole conver um It'll become another conversation of me trying to ex explain to you how I feel. Now, I don't want, this is not about me and my personal life. If if you watch some of my other videos um, on YouTube, go back and watch some of my other videos on YouTube. And then I think you'll get a sense of who Stephanie Stevens is, Paul. Okay? But as far as, um, I'm an entertainer. And what I do is I reach out to the LGBT community for either I'm looking for resources for work or I am just looking to be informative or I'm just looking to talk to my community or other people that are a part of our community. That's it. And give you the 411 on what's happening within our community. Now, like I said is... Um, Today, our subject is about this trans woman in Istanbul that's outing um, men on gay dating apps. Um, so, apparently, she has targeted Grindr and Planet Romeo. Now, as we know, Grindr is a very popular website. And you guys love it because you got lots of beautiful pictures up there. I did a little bit of investigation before I came on. And of course, back in the days, I was on Grindr just like everybody else. But it... Sorry. No, you have not offended me, Paul. It's just that 
the show today is not about my sexuality. I'm not speaking as a trans person, as nothing. I'm just speaking to you today as a human being. So whether I identify as trans or whether I identify as a gay man or a transvestite or cross-dresser, Paul, is irrelevant to me being online with the live at, Steph um, live at five with the Stephanie Stevens show. There's no offense here. I'm just Stephanie Stevens. That's it. I don't have any, I don't in identify as anything. I'm just he, she, we, they, us. So hopefully that helps. Hi, hi Jasmine. <clears throat> now, today, like I said, is <clears throat> we're talking about this trans woman in Istanbul that is outing men on gay um, dating apps such as Grindr, Planet um, Romeo, and lots of other ones. Now, apparently, she was mad because she was in Morocco touring, if y'all know what I mean. And the trans women, they understand what I mean. And some, a group of gay men, they, apparently she went to some kind of a gay outing thing. She went to some kind of gay thing that they had. And somebody called her some derogatory remark. Now, we all know, like I said before, when most people call you out of your name, whether they're straight or gay men that are upset with you, they call you a tranny or straight men, the first thing they call you is a man. And that's something that gay, straight, I mean, trans women don't like to be called, is a man. So now she has went on a tirade. She has went on a tirade um, to, towards gay or, or just towards men that are on dating apps, outing them. I don't see what the point of all that is. I don't understand what she is doing. Do you, have you guys heard of her, Miss Sophia? Did you guys see the story? I tried to send it to as many people as I could because I couldn't believe it. The queen shocked me every day. I mean... People shock me every day with stuff that they that they put their time and energy into when she's got more and uh, important things to be worried about. First of all, equality. And second of all, health care. Third of all, just the mere fact that she can exist as a human being with equal rights in her own country. Something is wrong with this woman and her priorities. I don't understand it. Now, this is what, let me tell you something. For me, uh, adults, adults, no matter what dating site, hookup sites, bars, whatever it is, how you're meeting people and dating people is up to you. But what goes on in the confines of your own home and behind closed doors should stay there. She don't need to be trying to tell people something we already know that men hook up on dating sites and wh whether they're gay, straight, whatever it is. She has other things she needs to be focusing on. First of all, she lives in Istanbul. Istanbul. She is, instead of her up here trying to tell the world about men hooking up, first of all, why would she even be involved in something like that if she wasn't on these sites trying to make a dollar or two? You ain't going, most trans women want a straight man. So you ain't finding no straight, straight man on grinder, so why would you even um, engage in that in the first place? And second of all, she already knows, and we all know that eighty to ninety percent of the men on grinder are not tops or in between. So most trans women I know are either tops or versatile. So she was looking at she was. She, this woman was mad about something. I do not understand what was the purpose, first of all, of her going on a dating app, going on dating apps in the first place where the majority of the people on those dating apps are either gay men, bisexual, or straight men that are looking for men. I don't see but maybe one or two trans women, I think, on Grindr. I think I might have seen that. And they weren't even in full trans mode, showing no breasts, no nothing, which usually entices men. Now, what is a trans woman doing on Grindr? What is she doing on Grindr in the first place looking for a man? Or, look, listen, lady, 
Sophia, let me say this to you, lady. You need to grow up. <laughs> girl, <laughs> this is a big world, and your fight is in the wrong place, girl. You got to get your priorities straight, Miss Istanbul. Okay? You got to get your priorities straight. Okay? Second of all, where... Why aren't any of the other trans women doing what you're doing in Istanbul? Because they know better. They know better. They know what's going to happen. Let me tell you something. We will read about you, Miss Sophia. I'm not saying them, but I know for a fact we're going to read about you. Trust me. We're going to read about you and read about you soon. You're trying to get famous on the back of hurting people. What are you doing, lady? What are you doing? See, a lot of the ladies go on Grindr and they do have fans on Grindr. But why is it she's mad because she went to Morocco and then somebody called her some derogatory name. So she went back to Istanbul enraged. This is what I read on, on, the, on, on, on the Google um, uh, information thing. She was enraged because somebody called her something derogatory. Listen. They call us derogatory every, every day. Do you see us getting on hookup sites and looking to out men all over the world? We don't do that. Come on, lady. You need to grow up. Second of all, people in Istanbul and know where they, where they are in the world deserves equal rights. And you should know that, number one, as a trans woman. Because you've got so many fights to fight. In just the mere fact of staying alive and taking hormone pills, you're trying to stay alive every day. That means that you're fighting for your rights. Trying to get a job so you can keep a roof over your head, lady. Okay, you got a lot to do, lady. You got a lot to do. You got to get education so you can see how the world will treat you being a trans. Look, lady, you got a lot to do. You need to grow up, Miss Sophia, up there in Istanbul. I'm here to tell you, grow up. What consenting adults do behind closed doors stays there. It's simple. Why are you worried about what gay men on Grinder and Blue Planet are doing? I mean, you know, your Blue Planet, uh, uh, no, Planet Romeo are doing. What are you worried about them? Your fight is elsewhere, lady. You got the wrong... <laughs> she's got Perry. I don't understand what her fight is. Do you understand what she's trying to do? I don't understand what her fight is. I don't know what you're doing. I don't understand trans women getting on, dealing with anything with gay men, straight men, bisexual, unless it caters to you. But you have no right to go on anywhere from Instagram to YouTube to Twitter. Stay in your lane, lady. Stay in your lane. Stop putting your own life at danger and other trans women's lives at danger because of you and this. Don't do that. Don't do that, Miss Sophia. Please. Please don't do that. And leave these men alone. I know trans women don't like competition, but listen, you're on the wrong site. If you want a man, get yourself a man, but you don't go on a gay um, dating app and try to tell, start bossing gay men around or bisexual men around who are already marginalized enough. Do you know how much guts it takes to put a picture up on Grindr and Blue Plant and Blue, um, Blue Romeo? You know how much guts? 90% of the people put up fake pictures, even if they put up a today's picture. Of course, they can grow their hair. Most guys now have beards, but they put up all these different pictures that um, are from like 10 years ago or 5 years ago. But you know what? Good for them at least trying to make their lives better. Meet somebody. Or either whether it's a meaningful relationship or just a hookup, the mere fact that people are trying to make themselves feel good and feel wanted is a good thing for them. And for you, Miss Sophia, <laughs> they say we all want that D, y'all. Mm -hmm. We sure do. We sure do. But Miss Sophia, you look kind of pretty. You should be able to get a man. And mainly in Istanbul, you should be able to get a man that's going to take care of you and be with you. If everybody is on such a down low in Istanbul, you should be able to get a man that'll be with you. Because yet you say everybody's trying to hide over there, so the two of you can hide together. I don't understand it. Now, second of all, uh, Miss Sophia, my advice to you. 
Your fight's in the wrong place, lady. Stop doing what you're doing. Stop being negative. Stop making it bad for the trans women around the world and mainly for the ones that are close to you, the ones in Istanbul and the ones in Morocco and the surrounding countries that don't feel the same way. We all have the fight, same fight when you're trans, cross-dressing, drag queens, transgender, or whatever the pronoun is. We all have the fight to, for equality, human rights. And you need to wake up, lady. And get off them dating apps so you can consume yourself with something that's more important, like trans rights, okay? You are in more danger than those men that you are outing. But now you've opened this can of worms. Let's see what happens. We're going to see what happens, lady. I could tell you. So, like I said, is today we were talking about the trans woman, Sophia um, from Istanbul that are outing men on gay dating apps. Now, apparently it's come to a head to where they start harassing gay men and arresting them or, you know, arresting men that they suspect of being on these gay dating apps. And now she is on, on, on a rampage because apparently somebody called her some derogatory name in Morocco when she was there working, if you know what I mean. And now she's mad, so now she, it's no different than all the rest of us. Like I told you guys before, many women who transition don't like, hey, 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 Catalea, hey, hey, hey. Um, most trans women don't want to be called a man. We've all been called a man. I've been called everything besides everything in the world, including man, okay? But I am here. I am here. You don't... Listen to Miss Sophia. I don't know what to say about her. I am so disturbed by the mere fact that she would do something like that. It's like, how do you get online in a marginalized country, first of all, as a trans woman and start outing men on gay dating apps? Hmm. Something is wrong with you, lady. I don't understand it. But hopefully, mm, it'll work out for the best for you. I don't think so. I think, you know, I, mean, I ain't going to say what I think. But y'all already know. And mainly, you girls in America that fight constantly for your equal rights and the fact of just being who you are. And the ones in Canada, we are lucky to live in a country that embraces us somewhat for our rights. Even though we fight every day for every step of the way. Miss Sophia in Istanbul, you better get a grip, lady. You better get a grip. You sitting up there by yourself. I don't see none of them other trans women standing behind you saying nothing in Istanbul because they know better. You better watch out, lady. Be careful. Be careful, my lady. Be careful. Istanbul, I don't know where it's at. I don't care, and I've never been over there, and I ain't going over there, and I'm not going to no place that doesn't welcome me as the LGBT pronoun person that I am. And we know, I have traveled all over this world doing drag shows, trust me, and I've met all kinds of people. And luckily, this is just entertainment. But miss, when you're trying to live your real life in a marginalized country that doesn't like homosexuality or... Um, um, sex without you being married, Miss Lady, you need to pick up your suitcase and go somewhere else where they welcome you. You need to think about your priorities, Miss Lady, instead of worrying about what gay men are doing on gay dating sites. Girl, you something wrong with you. Anyway, <laughs> she's probably there is she's probably hurting herself. She wants to lash out on her competitors. You're right. There's probably a queen on there. I mean, a de a, a trans woman on there getting all the men and she ain't getting anything so now she's mad it's like listen i know she needs to please be careful she does she needs to be careful i mean it's different with us over here in 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 in, in, in canada not that we don't have to fight every day we have to fight every day but she needs to be careful because, um, Sophia, I don't know, girl. I don't know why you're so angry. Maybe you should see a therapist 
or see a doctor or see uh, one of the older trans women over there that have more common sense that can talk some sense into you because you look a little young to me and you might not be seasoned enough to understand what your safety comes first. And the mere fact equality and all that stuff can come afterwards as long as you're safe. But you don't put yourself in danger as a trans woman on a gay dating app upsetting gay, bisexual, and trans men or whoever it is on these on these on these sites we've never ever outed anybody you're right Carla we don't out people we don't bother people here even though we see everybody on the dating sites and we could care less because they're doing whatever they got to do and it's behind closed doors and they're consenting adults and that's the way you need to be thinking Miss Sophia hi, hi Ebony Carla I don't know what to say about this trans woman the uh, only thing I can say is the mere fact that she's doing what she's doing, she puts lots of other trans women's lives in danger already. As she can see, there's been a rise and spike in the trans women being murdered and all kinds of bad things happening to trans women around the world. She needs to be more responsible. If she is so in tune with these dating apps, she should know about the murders of trans women around the world. Now, now, why would you do that? I do not understand. Why would she put herself in that kind of a position in a marginalized country that doesn't um, like homosexuality or sex without you being married? Why would she do that? I do not understand it. You cannot go into Morocco where we know you was working. We know you was working over there. Don't try it. Okay, don't try it. We all know us trans women or drag queens, drag she meals, cross dresses, whatever. You, we know she was working. And she mad. I don't know people either. They will always have that opinion about trans women. You will have to get used to it on straight dating apps. Oh, I understand, Catalina. But it, nobody has the right to out nobody for nothing. People have the right to engage in these sites. They have the right to engage in hookups or whatever the situation may be that's good for them. But at the end of the day, she doesn't have the right to be on there telling the world what her neighbors and neighbors, neighbors and neighbor, neighbors and the people in the next country are doing. She has, a, listen, her fight needs to be with herself trying to stay safe, trying to make sure she gets equal rights, a job, all the things that she feels that she deserves as a LGBT pronoun or trans woman deserves. She needs to understand that. Stop fighting with these men on these dating apps. They don't care. They're more likely to do harm to you. And now that you're up there outing them, girl, you need, oh, I don't know. Oh, I've been rambling for 10 minutes now. <laughs> I've been rambling for 10 minutes now. I can't believe she is on there doing that. I never get a I never get a call a call a guy because I don't do all that and let them know up front. That's right. Let them know up front that you are a man when you're doing these hookups or you you're trying to make you a couple of dollars and we know well what I mean, Catalina, when you're trying to make yourself a couple of dollars, ain't nothing wrong with it. But let these men know that you are a man. Then this way you won't have to have this discussion when they get there. And make sure that there's something on your phone or whatever you're communicating them with that says that you told them that you were a man. So this way, it's this way. There's no dispute if there's ever a drama. Don't be outing people. That's how people die. You're right, Catalina. That's how people die. Don't be outing these people and bothering these people. Let these people do what they want. Girl, your fight is somewhere else. Stop it. Miss Sophia in Istanbul, you stop it. You stop it. Leave these gay men or whatever these kind of people are on these apps. Leave them alone. Your fight is not there. Your fight is not there, girl. You need to, listen to me, <clears throat> you need to wake up. I don't see none of your sisters up there standing behind you agreeing with you about people on dating websites. So you're up there by yourself. You better get it together. You better get it together, Miss Sophia. <laughs> hey, Dean. 
Hey, Ebony. These, I don't understand it. I mean, I don't, this is what I don't like. I see a lot of this online. Sometimes trans women act out. We all act out. But you cannot put yourself in mortal danger because somebody called you a man. We get, listen, how many times have black people been called the N word and we, listen, let me tell you something, girl, that's not your fight. Get off them dating apps. Get off them dating apps altogether. Get yourself together first. See a doctor. Maybe your medication is not working right. Maybe maybe, maybe this being in the house and stuck this coronavirus thing that's got everybody in the house. Maybe this is what's making you go mad. You need to see a doctor later. Doing stuff like that makes it hard for trans women to find man who actually wants to be with them. True. It's so true. Acting out like that is almost acting like a woman that is too dominant sometimes for a man or that they feel that is too dominant for them. And it's hard for dominant women sometimes to find a man. Now, trans women... First of all, you cannot be on there, these Grinder and Blue Romeo, Planet Romeo, and all these other apps, hookup site apps, telling people about um, gay men. And then putting their information in the hands of people that are extremists, or people that hate us, or people that just are out to do us harm. You can't be passing on information like that, lady. Something is wrong with you. Listen here. You giving my email out and my name and my address, I'm coming to your house. So look, listen to me, lady. Leave these men alone. Leave them alone. We are going to read about you. I, I hate to say it, but you know, Catalea, you know we're going to read about Miss Thing. I mean, Miss Lady. You know we're going to read about her. Y'all know that. I feel sorry that she don't have any older trans women up there to teach her, to make her understand that this is not a good thing. Sophia, girl, get off that internet. Even if you're not off the internet, get off of those dating apps with gay men and outing people. Stop it. Stop it now while you are ahead. Stop it now. Hi, Skylar. Stop it now while you are ahead. If this keeps blowing up, girl, we're going to read about you, mama. We're going to read about you. I'm sorry, but we're going to read about you. And, um, you know, girl, come on. Look where you live. You live in Istanbul, where everything is uh, marginalized. You don't have all the rights that we have in Canada or the United States. Girl, I mean, and we fight every day just to get a little scratch on the wall, okay, as LGBT pronoun trans community. So, what, I don't know. I don't know what to say to her. I don't know. Hi, Skylar, how are you? How are you, girl? I don't know what to say to her. I'm so mad with her, Catalina. I don't know. I'm so mad with her. Because I think that she's stupid. I don't, I, I do not understand why she would do that in the first place. It just doesn't make any sense. And apparently she's on Instagram. So if you guys want to check her out on Instagram and see what she's saying, maybe some of y'all can give her some advice. Somebody needs to go on there. Instead of lashing out at her, too bad. Try to um, um, rationalize with her before something bad happens out of all this. So y'all need to go on there and talk to her. Hi, Skylar. Once again, hi, Garrett. Good. What's going on, Skylar? We're talking about the trans woman in Istanbul that's outing um, men on gay dating apps. Let me tell you something. I'm the same way, Catalina. I live alone. I stay that way. I ain't bothering people. What I do behind my closed door is between me, the person I'm with, and God. That is it. I am not about to be calling nobody. Ain't that much love in the world to be... Um, you talking about you, you, you in love with somebody, and you calling his wife, or you're outing him, and or you, or or this and that. You're telling his friend. Those are a no no. That is a no no, Miss Sophia. Leave these men alone. Leave them alone. You got enough problems. You got enough problems. 
Don't be over there trying to put up the good fight because you are in the wrong. You are in the wrong. Nobody asked you to sign up for Planet Romeo. Nobody asked you to sign up for um, Grinder. You either went on there with a fake name or a fake profile and started doing malicious things. So you are in the wrong, Miss Sophia. Don't be trying to make it look like you were doing something for somebody else. You were doing something because you were selfish. And that selfishness is going to, something bad is going to come out of that. Be quiet, Miss Sophia. Girl, I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you because you don't have nobody over there to tell you no better. You need you need some mamas over there. I don't know where them older trans women are over there to try to keep you keep you calm and keep you quiet. But you can't be over there acting like a spoiled child and start ranting all along and outing men. Bad things happen, lady. And first of all, you're over there in a in 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 a marginalized place, girl. You girl, girl. I don't know. My advice to you, Miss Sophia, is get offline altogether. Get offline altogether while you are ahead. And be quiet for a while. Be quiet. Be quiet. Look for yourself a decent job, a decent doctor, a decent man that will love you for Sophia. Leave these gay men or whoever, whatever kind of men on these sites, leave them alone. Stop trying to put up a fight that ain't yours. And on that note, Sophia, I'm just going to say from one sister to another sister, be safe, my friend. Be safe. Be smart. A lot of us didn't make it. And, you know, it's from a lot of stuff like this. So, change your attitude, Miss Sophia. Get a grip. This is That's not your fight. That's not your fight. It's just sex. It's just a hookup. I don't know what you're trying to make out of it. Girl. <laughs> Good luck. Well, anyway, that was the show today on the Stephanie Stevens Show. I'm trying to talk about this woman, Aline. Do you guys think it's fair for her to out people on, um, I ain't going to say just gay dating sites. It could be anybody in any situation on any hookup sites. I don't think nobody should be in anybody else's business whether or not they're on the hookup sites or not. I just think, I just think that she was wrong for doing that and I just think that she needs I don't know something something I don't know I don't know Catalea I don't know this is why like you said I stayed in myself too I was in a relationship for a very long time with a man that loved me and cared about me and accepted me for who I am and back then I didn't have all of these other things that are coming along here if you understand what I mean and but yet he loved me all the same. I just decided that I needed to go in another direction because I cared more about my career. Not that I didn't care about him. I cared about my career. But I, he never messed me up. He never, all doing everything I decided I wanted to do, he never did harm to me, said bad or malicious things. And sometimes when people call you something, you just have to walk away. And mainly when you don't, when you understand your surroundings and understand where you live. Like the saying goes, what goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas. That's true. That is so true. What goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas. You don't be telling nobody about nothing in Vegas. You just say, I had a good time and they know what that means. <laughs> What's the topic? Today's topic was um, about um, the confines of being an adult. Well, today's topic was about human rights. Today's topic was about human rights. Now, but I opened the show, um, um, Sharia, Sharia, Sharia. I opened the show with letting people know. Um, things that goes on in the confines of people's homes and behind closed doors as consenting adults should stay there. And like my good friend Perry just said, what goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas. And I don't think that this trans woman in Istanbul, Sophia, should be outing men on gay dating sites or any 
hookup sites at all. And she's she can have a run in with a group. Apparently, she had a run in with a group of gay men in Morocco where she was at this event or something like that. And somebody called her something derogatory. So she was mad, number one, because they were hooking up during the coronavirus um, lockdown. And two, the fact that she, they had been called her, which we probably know, they either called her a man or a tranny or a faggot. We understand what they might have called her. We do. Or, or, or the B word, which is, you know, women are used to that B word or the H word. Because most women, I researched this, most women who leave Istanbul and go to Morocco go there to work. The trans women go there to work, if you know what I mean. So now she's there either frustrated that she wasn't making any money or frustrated at the fear fact that nobody was paying her attention. Because, you know, sometimes trans women want to demand all of the attention and they want people to pay attention to her. But when you're in a gay establishment and you're in with gay men, gay men are only interested in other gay men and generally they're not interested in trans women. And if they are, it's okay. But she should have understood, she could not be that mad for her to go back to her own country. She went back to her own country because she didn't make no money in Morocco. We know what it was, Catalina, okay? We know what it was. So she didn't make any money or whatever the situation was. But she, you don't leave Morocco mad because it ain't your first time somebody called you a man or a fag or a tranny. That ain't your first time, lady. That ain't your first time. We've heard this all of our lives. Okay? That's so tired. Girls need to learn um, learn telling folks business only ends up with them dead or looking dumb because nobody, nobody cares. You're right. I don't know why she's on that on that on that internet telling out in out in these men. What what is she doing? Her fight is so in the wrong place, Sharia. Her, her fight is in such the wrong place. I don't understand it. And it's like, why would you do that? What What is that going to get you? Like, what job are you going to get for outing men on gay dating apps? Or whatever app, this app, that app. What, what, what kind of job is she going to get? How is she going to get ahead in the world? What is she trying to tell us? That she's stupid? That she's stupid and she's looking for somebody to do harm to her? What is wrong with her? Ugh. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, one of them older, older women up there will teach her to keep her mouth closed. Or somebody will intervene before something bad happens to her. I just hope that. My advice to you, Sophia, stay offline. Stay off the gay dating app. Stay off any apps. If they upset you, that's not your fight. That is not your fight. You have more important issues as the trans woman you say you are than worrying about what gay men or straight men or whoever kind of men are on these sites. That is not your fight, lady. And um, that was the show today, um, Sharia. Um, so I hope she finds her way. I do. I hope she finds her way. And I hope she understands that... Um, she should be fighting for more important things like the LGBT pronoun community. She should be fighting about equality and rights for trans women. She should be fighting about things that really matter. And the fact that she needs a good quality of life, she needs a good job, she needs good education, she needs to feel like the woman that she is, but she ain't going to get none of that if she keeps acting like this here. Her fight is some, girl, your fight is somewhere else. Okay, your fight is with you and what you need in life. Don't be worried about what men in general are doing on any hookup sites, no matter straight or gay. Okay, leave these people alone. You've got other things to be worried about. And on that note, everybody, um, <clears throat> thank you guys for joining me here on the Stephanie Stevens Show Live at Five. Today's subject. Um, in conversation was about just human rights and the fact of having the freedom of speech. And um, I hope I have enlightened you. If you guys have this um, show in different countries, please pass this on to Sophia so she can have um, 
sister, I can have a sister to sister talk with her. She can see the show or she can message me if she's angry about something <clears throat> and she needs um, somebody to advise her about how to have more responsibility when you're on the internet because the internet is not a trans woman's best friend if you know what I mean in the sense of hooking up on dating apps of any kind. We all have to be safe when hooking up with each other and with the mere fact that we can means that you, we have the rights. We have the rights to engage in the company of other consenting adults. And Sophia, you need to understand that as a trans woman, but th that is not your fight, okay? So, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys. Hi, Layla. Thank you guys so much for joining me here on the Stephanie Stevens Show. Be careful. Be careful, ladies. Be careful. Be careful. And like I was saying is understand your fight as a trans woman. Understand it. Understand that fight before you get into it with men. So, um... On that note, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Y'all have a great week. Um, things seem to be trying to turn around. They said they're going to try to open up the economy a little bit at a time, which I think is, you know, we have to do something. I'm not, I'm not weighing in on that one way or another because I don't want to get into that fight because that's not my fight. It's all of our fight. But as far as I'm concerned, it's good news that they're opening up some parts of the economy. I don't know what part they're going to start with first, but hopefully we will get past all of this. And the good news is that they say that they found some kind of antibodies um, in people who are already tested positive for COVID-19 uh, that can probably help us. So hopefully that is true. And Hopefully that is really some good news coming our way. But I think with them opening up the economy and the numbers are now dropping from what they say, um, I think we're going to be okay. I mean, of course, we're going to lose a lot more people along the way until things stabilize. But stay safe, my friends. Be careful. Stay home. Do what they tell you to do. Trust me, I know it's hard for the divas to stay home. Because we want to go to the bars and carry on and get on the stages and carry on and get us a man and carry on. But be careful. Be careful. Stay home, my friends. And until next time, thank you guys for joining me here on the Stephanie Stevens Show. I'm Stephanie Stevens. Over and out, people. Have a blessed week, y'all. Mm -hmm. Peace out. <laughs> Bye, Julia. I was just ending the show just now. Oh, thank you, Jason. Thank you. I was just ending the show right now. I'll talk to you um, during this week. Once we get Zoom up and going, Julia, I'll let you know what's happening. Okay? All right. Bye-bye, everybody.